Hi, my name is Andreas. I'm a co-founder of Total. Now here at Total, we absolutely love the web. It is a fantastic platform, but building performant, scalable web applications is incredibly difficult and requires a lot of expertise. So we build Total to make that easier and faster than ever before. And I want to give you a short demo of just a little bit of what's possible in Total. So here I have our Total editor, and I'm going to building, be building a very simple news site that lets you uh, search recent news and, and essentially get a list of that. Right. I'm going to be using um, an API called newsdata.io. Uh, you can sign up, it's free, and you get a, um, like an access key, and then you can actually fetch news from their API. Um, so I'm going to be copying uh, this URL right here. Um, and I'm just going to go into Total and I'm going to create what's called an API. I'm going to name it News. And then in the URL field here, I'm just going to paste that URL. And Total is automatically going to pass the URL into the relevant bits. And it's going to fetch that data for me so it's available, right? And we can see we get some information coming back here. There's like a title. Uh, we've got a link. We've got like an image URL, which is null in this case. But um, we've got it for some of the other items, I think. Yeah, here. Yeah. Um, and then we got a description, right? So we got a lot of information coming back. And now I want to render that into my uh, application in Total. So I'm going to go here and add a new element. Under Snippets, I'm going to choose a card. So this is just a small collection of elements that makes it faster to get started building in Total. Right? And now I have this sort of section, this card here. And I want to show one for every single uh, news article I'm getting back from this API. So I can right click and say repeat. And then we open up the total formulas. And the total formulas basically lets you build highly dynamic applications um, by instead of saying what something should be, like how how many items should it be, it says, where should I find the data that tells me that? Right. So I'll show you what I mean. Here we go into, we grab our a news API, and then the data, and then results. And what Total does is that for every one of those results in that list we got here, it's going to render an item here, right? Uh, so we got a new card for every one of them. Um, and I can now start inside this card saying, well, let me pick up the header text, and I'm going to again use my formulator. And this time, because I'm repeating, I get access to that data that I repeated over, and I can say I want to pick the title. And I can do the same thing for our paragraph. I'm going to say item dot uh, description. Um, and now we can kind of see that the layout here for this card isn't quite working anymore. So I'm going to select that. And if you're familiar with either Frame or Webflow, everything here is probably just going to make sense because this is exactly the same way we're doing that for building uh, landing pages. You do the same thing when you're building in Total. Uh, you just, we take this height, we can say, no, remove that and just set it to auto and maybe give it a gap between elements of eight pixels, right? And now our layout works again. We can even say, uh, no, we'll leave that at, at that, that's fine. Um, I can also take the image and change its source attributes, which is where do I fetch that image from? And again, I'm, can, I can go and use our, uh, our sort of image URL here. Um, and in the case here where that's null for the first item, we can actually see it's not null for the other ones are getting it, right? Uh, I can just say, well, if it's null, then uh, maybe don't show that image, right? So we'll use the show height, which is just like repeat, but it's like toggles that element on and off. We can just say, well, uh, only show that if our item has a uh, image URL, right? And so now we only show that for the image items. So. This is a really quick listing. This I want to add one more feature. I think we want to be able to search uh, for different topics. So I'm going to add an input field. Uh, I'm going to move that up uh, to the top of this. And I'm going to create a variable that can hold the data from what we're currently searching for. So we're going to call it search. Uh, and we'll start with uh, puppies, right? Oh, can't spell puppies. There we go. Um, and I can now bind that to my input field and say, well, whatever that variable holds should be my input, and whatever the input change, update the variable. Um, and now I can use that input or that variable in my news API. So instead of just always searching for cryptocurrency, again, I'm going to use the formula to here and say, well, uh, that value should actually be whatever's in the search uh, variable here. And that's now going to go search for puppies instead. 
I'm just going to add one more thing here, oh, uh, which is, uh, let's shut that down. Uh, a debounce is basically say, only ever call this every, at most every 300 milliseconds, because if we're typing fast, it's going to get a bit spammy. Um, and so now I can go in here and go into test mode whoop, and start testing my app. And what if we search for cats? Well, then we actually start getting our sports. Then we start getting these live results back as we're typing, throttled to about only every 300 milliseconds. And we can start see, okay, here's some interesting, I mean, it's not the most interesting sports facts, to be honest, but um, we're getting different news related back to sports, right? Um, the last thing I want to show is that everything in this demo so far you've seen uh, has been built in Toddle. And I'm not just talking about the application in here. So we're actually right now inside the Toddle pr um, project. So I can say, uh, I can pick out our component editor, which is what you're looking at now. So right here on the left, this is our left panel. On this is our element panel on the right for styling. Uh, there we go. Different elements. Every part of what I've shown you today is built inside of Toddle. From the element tree on the left to the formula editor, every part of it is built entirely in Toddle itself. Thank you very much for watching this. I hope that gives you a little bit of an idea of what Toddle can do. If you want to learn more, you can check out our website at toddle.dev or check out more of our YouTube videos. We've got a lot of content of like showing what you can do in Toddle. Thank you very much.